let's take a look at this problem. f of x equals square root of 2x plus 5, g of x equals 10x over x squared plus 1. And our first part, we want to find the composition of g and f of 0. So we're going to rewrite this as g of f of 0. Now first we'll work at the inner. And then we'll work with the outer. Okay, so inside we got f of 0. So let's find out what that's equal to. We're going to plug 0 in everywhere we have an x in f of x. So we got 2 times 0 plus 5. 2 times 0 is 0, so this gives us square root of 5. Well, we now know what f of 0 is equal to, so I can replace the f of 0 here with square root of 5. So this becomes g of square root of 5. Now we're going to go through our g of x, and everywhere we have an x, we'll plug in square root of 5. So I got 10 square root of 5 over square root of 5 squared plus 1. So that gives us 10 square root of 5. When you square a square root, they cancel each other. So that gives us 5 plus 1. So we got 10 square root of 5 over 6. And top and bottom both divisible by 2. Uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we got 5 square root of 5 over 6 divided by 2 is 3. So our answer is 5 squared of 5 over 3. Now B. We want to find the uh, composition of f and g of negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite that as f of g of negative 1. So I'm going to focus on the inner first. And then I'll focus on the outer. Well, our inside, we have g of negative 1. So let's find that. We're going to go to our g of x, and everywhere we have an x, we'll put a negative 1. So I got 10 times negative 1 over negative 1 squared plus 1. 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. Negative 1 squared is 1 plus 1. That gives us negative 10 over 2, or negative 5. And that's what g of negative 1 is equal to. So now we can go replace the g of negative 1 right here with negative 5. So this becomes f of negative 5. So we're going to go to our f of x, and everywhere we have an x, we'll put a negative 5. So we've got square root of 2 times negative 5 plus 5. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 plus 5, which gives us square root of negative 5. It's hard to say what the answer is at this point. If they specified in instructions, which they don't, that we only want real values, then you'd say it's not a real number. Uh, since it has a negative inside the square root, we could have an i come out. So the answer would be i square root of 5. Um, like I say, or if they want just real numbers, sometimes they're not very clear in directions, uh, then you'd say, or not a real number. So it should be one of those, one of those two answers. Let me uh, clear off these parts, and then we'll look at part C. Okay, C. We want to find the composition of f and f of 2, which is f of f of 2. So we'll first work with the inner. Work with this. 
and then work with the outer work with all this so inside we the inner we have f of 2 so let's find that first okay so we'll plug 2 in for the x for f of x so I got 2 times 2 plus 5 2 times 2 is 4 so we got 4 plus 5 which is 9 and 9 is 3 times 3 and remember with square roots we're looking for a pair of somethings here's a pair of 3 so we're going to come out in front as a single 3 so that's f of 2 now that we know what f of 2 is equal to that's what's inside here we can replace this with the value we just found so I'm going to replace the f of 2 with 3 so we're trying to find f of 3 at this point and I'll plug 3 in for my x so I got square root of 2 times 3 plus 5 2 times 3 is 6 so we got 6 plus 5 or square root 11 and that's our answer now D we want to find a composition of g and f of negative 3 which is g of f of negative 3 so we're going to focus on the inner first and then we'll focus on the outer so on the inner we got f of negative 3 so we'll go to our f of x and we'll replace our x with um, negative 3 so 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 5 which gives us square root of negative 1 which gives us i and that's what f of negative 3 is equal to so now we're going to plug that, we now know what f of negative 3 is equal to, so we're going to plug that in right up here. So we're going to be finding g of i. So I go to my g of x, and everywhere I have an x, I'll put an i. So I got 10 times i over i squared plus 1. And that gives us 10i. i squared is equal to negative 1. Um, so we got 10i over 0. <laughs> it's just a weird problem all the way around. Can't have division by 0, so that's undefined. Let me double check that one. It seems too weird. f of negative 3. Okay, put negative 3 in for there. So that's negative 6 plus 5i. Plug i in here. i squared is equal to negative 1. Yeah, that's just correct. Let me erase that. Let's look at the um, next part. Okay. Part E. Uh, composition of f and g of one half which is f of g of one half and again I'm going to focus on the inner first now I'm going to focus on the outer so the inside we're going to have g of one half. We'll go to our g of x, and everywhere we have an x, we'll put in one half. So we got 10 times one half over one half squared plus one. 10 times a half is five. One half squared is one fourth plus one. This is a complex fraction. We simplify complex fraction by multiplying everything by the LCM of all our inner denominators. The only inner denominator we have is the 4, so we'll multiply everything by 4. We'll take 4 times 5, 4 times 1 fourth, 4 times 1, 4 times 5 is 20, those 4's cancel and I got 1 plus 4,
1 plus 4 is 5, 20 divided by 5 is 4. So g of negative, or g of 1 half is equal to 4. So we're going to replace the g of 1 half in this problem right here with 4. So this becomes f of 4. So we'll go to our f of x and we'll replace our x with 4. So we've got 2 times 4 plus 5. That's uh, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 5, which gives us the square root of 13. And our last part. We're finding the composition of f and f of negative 2, which we rewrite as f of f of negative 2. Now I'm going to focus on the inner first. And then I'll focus on the outer part, second. So the inner part, we got f of negative 2. So we're going to plug um, negative 2 in for the x. So I got square root of 2 times negative 2 plus 5. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 5, which gives us 1. And square root of 1 is 1. Now that's what f of negative 2 is equal to. So we're going to go back to here and we'll replace the f of negative 2 with 1. So we're going to be finding f of 1. So I go to my f of x and replace the x with 1. So I've got 2 times 1 plus 5. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 5 is 7. So our answer is square root of 7.